hello and thank you so very much for joining me tonight before we get into our session i just want to have a little introduction to this video i'm also going to be putting some information below so if you're confused about this video or anything like that there are going to be some notes below in the video description if you'd like to read but i wanted to have a little intro here to let you know that this video is for everyone i know i'm titling it something like for poppy and um, the reason that I, I've struggled a little to create this because it is something that I think can be taken the wrong way and I'm very cautious about things like that as you probably know about me if you've been following me for a while I'm very trying my best to tread delicately while still of course being as authentic as you can be on you know a social media platform <laughs> so um, while this is for Poppy, this is for everyone. And the themes that we're covering are comfort, releasing fear, and how when sometimes we think, you know, there's, uh, sometimes we mistake or we neglect to um, bring, like, understand or grasp that ends are also beginnings, you know? And if you ever feel like you're coming to the end of anything in your life, a cycle, a project, a relationship, it is also the beginning. So I hope that this serves you and, you know, we'll get into our session. Thank you so much. Right again, thank you so very much for joining me. It is truly my honor to host this session for you. Neglect to say this in all of my videos, but really all of my work is never, uh, is, is always meant to be comforting, supportive, not pushy, and respectful of each individual's beliefs. And may I add, you know, intentionally supportive of our unique beliefs, no matter how you identify no matter what you believe in, there's a common ground of love, there's a common ground of good, there's a common ground of, you know, wanting to be better or do better or develop or learn or develop ourselves. It's probably a better way to say that. So please know that no matter what you see me do or what intentions I set, it's always held for you the space of respect to you and your personal beliefs and um, understanding and a bit of like acknowledgement and bowing to the fact that I really believe that you know best for you. You know where you're at, you know where you've been, and you know hopefully maybe you know where you're going or you know what you want to experience perhaps. So, you know, that said, we're going to get into our session. I'm first going to light two candles, two candles to represent the archetypes of ancestors, of mother, father, grandfather, grandmother, nanny, poppy, <laughs> and kind of hold space and send love to our ancestors, our grandparents, and you know, it goes both ways, of course, and directions if you're thinking of your children, nieces and nephews, or things like that, of course. There are no rules here beyond just a field of benevolence. So hopefully you can connect with it in your way. Ladies first, we're going to honor the mother, the matter, the experience, the grandmother, the nanny, the daughter, 
and I don't mean to genderize this, of course. I hope you can read between your, the lines here and hear this with your heart. It's not about gender. It's about these divine archetypes and just honoring perhaps where we've come from or what's happened before. That nurturing support. So on behalf of the highest and greatest good, let's begin to open this field of support Care, of acknowledgement, of respect, of reverence. For the feminine aspects of our lineage, of our world, of these archetypes, of what's inside of you, of what you carry forward, of what you teach, how you comfort how you support, how you are replenished, and accept love as well. We'll just open the field there. of your actions, of your stability, of your strength, of what you've set up, of what you've benefited by that was set up before, what was taught to you, what you've implemented. That stability. revolving doors here. And the candle already lit in the middle as well. We're going to begin first by connecting with that nurturing, a nurturing, a comfort, a reassurance that you are in caring hands here today. is only an offering of love with intentions, again, of comfort, releasing fear, clearing fear, of reflection, of compartmentalization, of processing for the journey ahead, no matter what that is. Right? going to spray around you with this western red cedar as a jersey girl <laughs> there's a lot of cedar where I'm from so much that the rivers are brown from the cedar trees Channeling through 
setting intentions to connect with you beyond time, beyond space. Only, of course, if you're open to receiving, channeling through cedar rivers of love, of comfort, of support, of acknowledgement, of validation that cycles are weird. Life is weird. It's so big and so small. Lifetimes and moments. Like passing seconds. But it doesn't take away from how beautiful it is. So we're just channeling through to fill your space with love and comfort. I hope you feel held in this space as we do this work together. All right. I guess an athame, but that seems like such a small world, small word for such a ornate and uh, meaningful piece like this. <clears throat> but we're gonna use this to forgive the word here. I know it's a harsh word, but to sever the ties of fear, to release fear from the muscle from the cells, from the impulses of the body, releasing fear from, and tightness from the stomach, releasing fear and tightness and rigidity from the shoulders, from the brow, the jaw, the heart, the lungs, from the kidneys, spleen, liver, digestive system, from the bones, and but sounds odd, right? Video? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? You're gonna release fear from my lungs? But what we're connecting with here is the mind of these organs as well as the space between. The space between that connects you to everything. And as we can work and access these subtle spaces through prayer, intention, we can work to release, to move, to clear, let go. Yes, validate. I don't want to tell you your fear is not valid. I would never. But to go and just let that fear move through you so you can feel more comfortable so you can feel more of yourself your truth and feel how ready you are and you've always been ready for change for the path okay so this gorgeous athame the ashtara gave to me We're setting those intentions and I'm just gonna move through releasing fear from all areas. So release, release, release. Clear, clear, clear. Clearing. May it just it just combust me it simply move because fear isn't bad but there's nothing for you to be afraid of you're your own judge you're your own um, 
can I say? Ruler, your will this is so powerful. You decide where you go. You decide what's next. You decide how to handle what you've been through. You are empowered, so let us clear that fear. Clear, clear, clear from over the head. May your love of God or the universe or your love of love pour through you as we sever, untether, release this fear from your body, from the space between and the connections to to feel uptight about, nothing to resist. It's only connecting with your truth here, your divinity, the beauty of you, your generosity, your kindness, your gifts, the impacts you make on others. experience because it can be so beautiful it is so beautiful and I'm just, pardon me, gonna get a little closer to the eyes the mind just know how loved you are Appreciated. In this time of transition or change or shift, flux of the wheel turning, is not an end. Harmonizing, channeling through here, through and through and through. Perhaps forgiveness, perhaps appreciation, perhaps empowerment, whatever would serve you, perhaps a deeper more vivid, more understood awareness of the beauty of life, the beauty and change. people think about you or think they know what you're going through or thinking what's best for you not that they're wrong for doing so or anything but that's not what it's about this is about connecting to you connecting to your truth connecting to your eternal nature and what all of this means for you in the palms in through the receptive meridians into the heart and out the dominant channels out the palm just this lovely flow state
going to use this tourmalated quartz. I don't know if you say that right. Um, black tourmaline and quartz. And we're just going to sweep through the aura here. Just clearing, releasing any like residual fear. Just kind of sweeping through. Through the body. Over the head, down through the divine channels within you, clearing, again focusing on the muscles, clearing that fear, that tension, that tight grasp, that instinct, that rigidity, just clearing, clearing. On your back. Relax. I'm gonna gently take your palm, focusing on your left palm, rubbing the stone in your palm point, and just focusing to channel through with intentions of clearing, moving up the arm, just clearing that stress. Clearing that tension, clearing that like muscle, muscular instinct of tension up to the shoulders. Focusing down your right arm and to the palm of your right hand. Same intention here. Right from the top of the head. Again, allowing this love, your love of God, your love of the universe, your love of love. your head again by your eyes help you see see within see around you take it in connect with what's meaningful to you connect with your gratitude you were focused on before, all that was so busy in your mind. It wasn't necessarily a distraction, but it's not required of you now. Your only job is to tune into you, connect with love, Self-reflect. There's nothing to be afraid of. And you can start to become perhaps excited for what's next in your life. In your eternal life, in your journey. In the next phase, the next chapter. We are all always reborn, always through our lifetimes. Okay, I just want to focus on the knees. Again, just clearing here, supporting that. Go with the flow, surf in these waves, that lazy river, just floating. Looking up at the clouds, 
listening to the sounds, feeling the wind on your face. I think I'm mispronouncing that, but Kunzai, like a pinky, purpley, lilac color. It's gorgeous. This is very good, very helpful for times of transition, times of change. And perhaps you've gone through great change recently, quickly. And it's a shock to the system, isn't it? I wonder we freeze or get tense or feel afraid. But let's just connect with prayer. Praying for, connecting with, receiving support during this time of change. Let us adapt. Let us be flexible. Let us surrender to it a little for our own benefit. adjusting to this great change. Time is one of those things that we just can't control. We can play with it maybe. We can notice how it slows down when we slow down and speeds up when we do, when our thoughts do, when our actions do. In terms of timelines, in terms of cycles, that's a bit bigger than us, isn't it? A bit beyond. And there are aspects that are timeless, of course, but, you know, there's also time, so we just have to play have to work with it and stay empowered through these cycles. Around and around and around. We are for supporting you in this time. This is one of my favorite pieces of rose quartz. So it's a stone of love, a stone of comfort, and it is so, so very comforting. I love this one because it's gemmy. I love all rose quartz, but this is just such a gemmy, jelly-like glossy kind of texture to it. I just feel like it's very special. So we're going to connect with love, connect with comfort, and connect with you, yourself, your soul, your journey, your purpose, your lessons, your development, your needs. And we're just going to channel through, supporting all love, supporting comfort, supporting loving yourself, and in that state of love, there is no fear. There is gratitude, there is appreciation, there is wonder, there is excitement, and fear is gone. Just channeling through to you.
and around and around and around and around and let me just tune into all the love that I have for you. This bottomless pit. <laughs> this galaxy of love. I just channel. And I'm not sad. I'm just overwhelmed with this love. Let me just channel to you even the tiniest fragment or taste of that. My appreciation to you. My deep thanks for who you are. Who you helped all of us become. seeing sand dollars, beaches, boardwalks, what a rich life this life is. was gifted to me from someone's pet, so it's very no harm done with this feather. beautiful shell that has like embedded pearls it's so pretty isn't it hand into the candle without burning myself, it's too low, so I'm gonna light this sacred smoke, not quite frankincense, but something equally divine, spiritual. This is an offering to you. This carries our prayers. This is prayer in smoke form. This holds frequency we can't put into words, right? May this bless you. May this energize you. May this support you in any way, completely unlimited by my my words, my mind, what my mind can 
articulate. This is an offering of love. It is pure. There are no attachments here. There are no expectations. This is for you, for your body, for your soul, for your emotions, for your mind, for your spirit. Blessing every cell and every space between. Blessing the mind and all the minds of the cells and systems. set it down. I'm just going to gently fan through just the parting. Letting those intentions, letting that energy, that love, those prayers move through you. You don't have to hold on to them. Let them just pass through you like light. How light is ever flowing. It's not just on. <laughs> it's flowing. As consciousness is flowing, as love is flowing, as everything is in motion, everything is moving. Everything is in orbit. And in this time of any feelings of end or fear, just please know that these prayers or these intentions, not just for me, but just in general, are delivered not only to the door that may close, the door that opens. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Your goodness shines through. Your unconditional love, your deep acceptance that's changed many lives. Rings. And I just hope you know how loved you are. And this love isn't just in, this love has no boundaries. It's not a love of a lifetime. It's a love beyond what we perceive as lifetimes. And I love you very much. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight. And thank you truly for being such an important piece of mine. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine in you and I. And to this 
beautiful connection that we share. So very much love to you, of course. With all my love and nothing but the very best intentions and wishes.